graciousness. Hi, I'm Pam with Be Fit For You. Be fit for you spiritually, be fit for you emotionally, be fit for you physically, and definitely be fit for you financially. So I jumped on because this past weekend I was busy. I didn't get to do my lunch and meal prep. Good thing is I had some things that I could grab this morning to have some lunch, so I didn't have to go out to eat. But I need to catch up on meal prep, and so I was like, this is a great opportunity to come on and show you guys. Just, you know, it's not too late. It's never too late to do food prep. I know it's Monday, normal food prep. I usually would do it either Saturday or Sunday. That way it carry me through the week. But hey, honey, we're going to get in here on Monday and get her done. How y'all doing today? So what I am prepping is some southern fried cabbage with sausage, some deliciousness. And I went ahead and jumped on and kind of prepped some of this before recording coming on live. It doesn't take cabbage long. I prepped this yesterday. My intentions were to kind of cook this yesterday, but I did some traveling and just was tired. I just could not. And I, you know, when I cook, I love to put my heart in my food. I don't like throwing anything together. So I just rested yesterday. So like I said, I had some things that I'd already meal prepped that I was easy to go out of the freezer from other meals that I prepped here on live. So, what I've done so far is I've already browned my sausage that I'm going to add in here. Um, I've steamed my cabbage. What I'm going to do now, you guys, is I have my veggies. Let me bring you guys in a little bit closer so y'all can see. All right. And I have some green bell peppers, some onions. And y'all know I like it spicy, so honey, y'all know I got some fresh jalapenos in there. One thing I like about this meal, everything is just so fresh. Very good with nutrients. And it's a quick meal. Very easy to make. It keeps well, and it always tastes good the next couple of days. Seems like the seasons just get on in through and through. So I'm going to turn it up. And with this, when you're making cabbage, cabbage makes its own water. So I, I have not added any water. But the one thing that I do like adding when I make fried cabbage, when I make this dish or anytime I make a fried cabbage, I use um, bacon grease. Yes, I use, I use um, the drippings from my low sodium, no sugar bacon that I eat. And then I add it, I put it in the refrigerator once it cools. And the reason why I put it in the refrigerator, because if you leave bacon grease out or any grease that you would use from maybe a sausage, some people use sausage grease, it will get rancid. And rancid, it'll get a smell after a while. So once your bacon grease, if you want to get into, you know, using your dripping, because they are very good as, when it comes to seasoning, especially coming to season cabbage. And I also use it if I make collard greens. It gives it a meat flavoring. Uh, you want to just make sure that the bacon grease cools before you put it in the refrigerator. And honey, that is like the best thing smoking when you put it inside of the cabbage. So I've already measured out my seasons that I'm going to be adding. I have some Slap Your Mama. I have some garlic jalapeno. I have some onion powder, a little black pepper, and I didn't put some sea salt, but I need to get just a tad. I'm gonna get that hair out of the pantry here shortly. And then of course I have some paprika for color. But right now I'm just gonna add these flavorings in. These seasonings in. Anybody else love cabbage? I love cabbage. I do. 
And this is the best, this is the way I really love making it. It's just, it's frying it. Put it in here in a skillet and just letting all of that just get so good. Oh, that's going to be so good. And fresh jalapenos. I love food, spicy food. I got any spicy, spicy food people in the house tonight, this evening? <laughs> All right, y'all, the aroma smells so good. So, so good. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on to let it just steam a little bit while I get that sea salt. Y'all give me one and one. Salt. Oh, yeah. Got a little less than one teaspoon. Most of the ingredients I used was less than one teaspoon, a little bit more than half. I had a real small head of cabbage, so it doesn't take very much seasoning. Just regular paprika. This is not the smoke one. This is just for color. Regular paprika really doesn't give flavoring. It's mostly just for coloring. All right. Ooh, yes. And I'm going to put a little bit of butter off in it. Some Land of Lake butter. Get a little research on cabbage. And give y'all some key pointers, some tips on what cabbage, how cabbage is good for you here. Let me get this stirred in. I'm gonna make sure I get it evenly distributed. Don't that look good so far, you guys? Man, woo! Yum, yum, yum. All right, I'm going to put that on there for a few minutes. So, cabbage, you guys, it lowers your blood, your bad LCL. My camera is about to fall. Sorry about that. It lowers your bad cholesterol, your LDL. It controls your blood sugar. It keeps you regular. <laughs> and then also, the nutrients that come out of cabbage, it lines your stomach and your intestines and makes it and keeps it strong. So those are some good things that uh, cabbage does for when you put it in, into your into your menu, put it into your what you eat. It has some good qualities. You can always, you know, make sure that you keep your cholesterol down. And eating cabbage is a is a good factor in helping you keep your cholesterol down. no water at all but if you wanted to now I have sometimes used like a, a vegetable broth when I don't have like uh, any of the bacon bacon grease I'll flavor it with either vegetable broth or chicken broth or sometimes I will put in smoked uh, neck bones debone it and then just put the meat in or smoke ham hock. So 
It's just, you can do so much with cabbage. You can just make this, this dish your own, really. But this will help me have lunch tomorrow and dinner tomorrow. This be so good, I'm telling you. So. And that's pretty much it, you guys. I'm going to add in my sausage here in just a little bit. gotta have a clean clean station when I'm cooking. I cannot stand a messy area, a dirty area. I cannot. So. It is a magnificent Monday. I was like, yes, I did not make this yesterday. Like I said, I was tired, had a lot of traveling to do. So I was like, just come on, show you guys how I do it. I did forgot to show y'all to put how I put my butter in. It's not very hard. Got some Lando Lake butter here. Honey, this is the butter. I was watching this on a, uh, another influencer was making some cakes. And she had put it in her cakes. And I was like, man, but every time I watch something that she has, she used Lando Lake butter. So I'm like, hmm, let me try it. So I used it for the first time when I made my cakes during the holidays. Baby, it, it, it is the business. <laughs> the Lando Lake Butters is the business. So I'm learning. I learn as well. But this is what you call, you know, do your research. I do research. That makes it taste so good. Y'all. So the jalapenos and that garlic jalapeno Weber seasoning, mm, 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 mm. so delicious. Okay, you guys. And then I went ahead and I cooked some. These are um, jalapeno sausages by way of HEB hashtag HEB. And I went ahead and cooked those before I came on, so this would be you know prepped up. Now my cabbage is where I can add these in. I'm going to go ahead and get those added in. Mm, 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 mm. My Lord. Y'all see that? Let me get y'all without flipping my phone. Um, Incorporated in. Ooh, ooh, honey. All right, you guys. We got southern fried cabbage and jalapeno sausage. Just like that. Just like that. Ooh, y'all can smell that. Baby. I'm going to plate and eat just a little bit. I am still full from my lunch earlier today. But I want y'all to see this deliciousness. I'm just going to take a little bite so y'all know that I own the money, you know? <laughs> just a sample. Just a sample. Put my lid back on. Let me grab a fork, you guys. All right. Let me get y'all out a little bit here. All right. Come on, camera. Don't fail me now. All right, look at that, y'all. Y'all, this so, smells so delicious. Oh, my. Thank you, Heavenly, thank you, Heavenly Father, for this food. Let it serve as nourishment to my body. I ask that you bless all those who are coming in on the live, those who come on the replay. I ask that you bless them, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Every time. The butter. 
with the bacon grease. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. This is my first time trying this sausage. So let me see HCB. Okay, HCB. Okay. Y'all ain't come to play. Hmm. That's good. If you know me, if you know me, know me. When something ain't good, you be able to tell. Because I do not have a poker face. I would not be able to be like, mm -mm, you would know she didn't like that. That didn't come off too well. <laughs> My face is going to show it. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all better go ahead and make this y'all own. I'm telling you. Under, under 30 minutes, most of the time it's going to be chopping up your cabbage, chopping up your onion, bell peppers, and then you put jalapeno peppers in it. Unless you get them already prepared, hey, I ain't knocking you. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. And I didn't cook my cabbage too long. It's not soggy, it's not crunchy, but it's right in the middle. It still have all this nutritional facts that it needs to have. You know, you don't want to cook all your nutrients off out of it. Mm, mm, mm. If this is your first time here at BFIT for you, please do not let it be your last time. I want to thank you for coming in. I want you to go share this live, share it with your friends, your family, your co-workers, and your neighbors too. They need to see all this deliciousness and learn about this nutrition that's over here at BFIT for you. I want to thank all my followers. I want to thank y'all for the continued support. I love you guys. Y'all have a beautiful evening. Love y'all.